Stay on the order. We love uh, being able to have uh, the Castro Theatre. It's just such a wonderful experience for our film, so we're so proud. Uh, we also have a round of applause for the volunteers who helped everybody get in today. I should say my name. I'm James, I'm the Executive Director of Frameline, and thank you so much for coming to Lula and Julie. We're so excited. So I have a few more thank yous. I want to thank the sponsor for this film, which is Queerty. Thank you so much to them for getting the word out. And we also have three community partners. One is American Conservatory Theatre, another one is New Conservatory Theatre Centre, and also the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus. So thank you to all three of those. So I want you to see many movies, right? So I'm going to tell you about a couple more, and hopefully you can see some of them. One of which is the Rock Hudson documentary, which is coming up next. It's fantastic. So if you don't have anything else to do, make sure you stick around the Castro Theatre. This is absolutely worth your time. So we'll hopefully see you there. Do we have any Indigo Girls fans in the audience? So tomorrow at 3.30, we've got a documentary on the Indigo Girls screening here at the Castro Theatre. It has sold so well. I'm so happy that it has because it's great. We want to see you there so that you can see the backstory to all these wonderful songs. So please come and see It's Only Life After All tomorrow. And if you're a big music fan, we're ending the festival with Taylor Mac, a 24 decade history of popular music. And Taylor Mac will be here. And there might also be another surprise guest, let's see. So I really highly recommend that you grab a ticket for that. It's also selling really well. It's going to be a party. You're going to be dancing in the aisles, and then we'll send you out onto the street, and what you do after that is your business, because the festival is over. Um, although we do stream until uh, July 2, so make sure you grab your streaming passes or your streaming tickets. So we're very lucky today to have some talent from Glitter and Doom in the house. Um, we do have actor Alex Diaz, director Tom Gustafson, and screenwriter Corey Krockenberg. They are all here, but we are going to have an introduction from Tom, the director, who's going to come up on stage right now and say hello. But after the film, stay. Let's listen to how this film was made. It's an interesting story. You're going to love this film. Let's all sing along. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Tom. Hello, everyone. First of all, I want to say thank you to Frameline, um, to James and Allegra. This is our sixth movie that has been in Frameline in the last uh, 15 years. So, um, you know, loyalty is not a thing that you really get in the film business, so we thank Frameline for their loyalty and showing our work. Um, Glitter and Doom. So, about five years ago, my partner and the writer, Corey Crickwork, um, wrote this script as a gift to me for our 20th anniversary. Now we're 25, which is crazy. Um, and when he wrote it, he wanted, you know, he kind of used our own personal story of how we met as kind of the inspiration for the script. And at the time, we didn't know whose music was going to be in it, and we decided to reach out to two of our heroes, Indigo Girls, and they amazingly gave us their entire catalog to pick from. So what you're going to see today has tons of mashups, lots of the dialogue is lyrics, um, and it's, you know, we're, we're very excited to have a joyous and unapologetically queer film. So we hope you enjoy. Thank you.